Hi, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Uh, sounding great. And you have stumbled on, um, I don't know if we talked about this during our lesson the other week, but really the trick to playing good fiddle is having a good hat. And you, sir, have a good hat. So I just wanted to toss that compliment out there. Um, really nice job. Really nice job. We're using a lot more bow than we were. As a matter of fact, you've um, done such a nice job of using um, and commanding so much more bow. I'm actually going to tell you, just for the sake of this particular song, to maybe cool it a little bit. Um, you know, we're using a lot of really big bow strokes, which is good. We want to have the control to be able to, you know, play something like... But, you know, for something like Soldier's Joy that's going to move, you know, we're, you know, it's, even though we're... Or, you know, you're playing, uh, you know, so you're slurring a lot, or you're playing a lot of... Um, uh, playing a lot of saw strokes, um, you're going to want to think about, you know, just the economy of motion and how much bow do you really need to effectively make... Um, these notes work. I think at the tempo that you're playing it at right now, which is significantly slower than my last example, um, I would just try practicing, you know, when you're doing your long bows, you know, just visually divide your bow into quarters. Or thirds, um, probably for Soldier's Joy, you know, quarters would be nice. So just about that much bow, and then you could just kind of place that that distance, that amount, right? I don't know. And again, it doesn't have to be precise, but just thereabouts, you know, use about that much bow. And a trick is to find the balance point of your bow and center that balance point over that distance of a bow. And then what you're going to find is this is going to feel a lot more natural. You're going to be able to relax a little bit more in that the balance point, that's your natural fulcrum, right? So it's not going to be, um, there's not going to be any laborious string crossings, um, I don't think. Or if there is, it will significantly reduce that. Um, other than that, the timing was really great. Uh, your intonation's pretty good. Um, uh, just uh, one little tip in the B part, we had um, maybe some issues there. Um, so you could play again. At least I think that's how you played it in the first part. That's how I played it in the first part. Or I think you were going for this. And that's also a very legitimate way to end that uh, the end that part. So I would just say go back to the recording or whatever um, you're referencing, you know, your music from here, uh, whether it's the recording I made you last week um, or, you know, something, um, some older material that you had that where you learned the tune originally and just really pick out that spot. You know, that's if you divide each part into quarters, again, this is the last quarter of the second part. the first quarter second quarter third quarter and then here or I like but other than that great job Chris I look forward to seeing you on Thursday feel free to reach out if you have any more questions